Welcome to the Big Bark Store. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an exciting cruise ticket jacket with our new exclusive cruise design. So this is not a, really a tutorial. The tutorials are up in every store, on our store or your own. Check the tutorial on how to design because I'm going to try to do it rather quickly. So you log on, you'll get the store like this. You scroll down to ticket jackets. Then you scroll down to number eight, which is the cruise groups two pocket design your own with Velcro. And you click on it and it will open. The loading time depends on your internet speed. It could take five seconds, it could take 60 seconds, but the, the product will load up. But if you have any problems during this, just email customer service at bigbarkgraphics.com. So there's our jacket, the full design. You'll notice that we have a template so your address populates right where it should on the pocket. Now I've already had mine complete and I just hit use this information for my other templates and it'll always pop up so you only have to do it once. So then we just hit apply. Now is the fun part, we get to pick our design. So I open up the images, go to my image library, you'll notice we have cruise designs and wedding designs, but then we also have images if you want to design your own. And then we have affiliate logos for you. So we're going to do a cruise jacket and there are many designs. You just simply put your cursor over it and you'll see a little picture of it so you can decide which one you want. I'm going to pick this one here. So just click on it once and you'll notice it populates in the jacket. I click on it again here and I get the black box and now I can go to my tools. So now all I've got to do is size that up. Now you're watching the edges. You don't want to go too big. This will not run off the sheath. That's what no bleed means. You'll notice there's white around it. And what you want to do is use the slider here to blow it up and then use this box to manipulate. And you want to look between the perf and the artwork. You want to make sure it all looks clean around the edges. Then you can just bring the bottom down and check the bottom. Just make sure it's all clean and that looks perfect. So we're going to reduce it a bit so we can see what we're doing. Now you'll notice your address disappeared. So what you do is you go to elements, find your address, drag it up, boom, your address pops up. So let's look at the address first. So let's get it highlighted so we can see the address. Now just because it's templated does not mean you cannot manipulate it or change it or move it. So I like to see that my name bigger. So I'm going to go bigger. Uh, you know what? I like to see my name bold. So I'm going to pick a bold. Well, it's a little too big. I went outside of the artwork. So I'm going to come down a little bit and just make sure I'm in the artwork. Um, I put your cruising expert as my tagline. You know, I might want to do that in italics. So I might pick an italic for that. And then I can change anything in my address, make it bold or bigger, anything I want to do. Now I can move the whole box as well just by clicking here and I can try to center my name a bit better. Now you might think, oh, you know, with the light blue background, it might look better dark blue. So you highlight it just like you would in Word. And then you go over here and you pick a dark blue that might look better. And then there's your address. Just click outside the box and you'll see your address is centered there. So what else can we do with this jacket? Well, the Velcro dots here, just so you know, do not print. They're just there to show you so you don't put type over them. And same with these dotted lines and same with the business card slits. They do not print. So what else can we do? Well, I like to personalize my walls by putting my picture on it. So I'm going to go to My Photos. And I think I got my photo up here somewhere. And if not, I can upload my photo. But what I like to do is normally put a headshot up. So I'm going to upload my photo. So simply click the Upload Images, hit Continue. That does explain how big the images sizes should be. So then I'm just going to go and find my photo. And it, again, it takes time. It populates down here. But you try to find your photo. So you find your picture. Yeah, there's my mugshot. So I'm going to double click on that and you'll notice that it's going to load down here in my images. Now I just click on it once and there's my mugshot. So I can now drag it. I like putting it behind the business card slit. So what happens is the customer takes out your business cards and then he sees a little picture of you. Sort of starts building a relationship. Starts showing that there's a person behind the order. So I like doing that. And then I also think saying something like thank you for your booking so I'm going to do a text box. Now I just, I like to put it in position. 
it helps me size things up easier and, and using the font. So I want to put a little message here and I'm not going to do it at 320. I like to pick a size right away that I can work with because that makes it easier. So I'm going to pick 20 and all I'm going to click inside the box and I'm going to say thank you for your booking. Oh, I'm sorry, that didn't work. Click inside the box. I didn't click very well, I guess. Thank you for your booking. So let's blow this up. Maybe that's why, because it's hard to see. So let's get this so I know what I'm working on. You do got to take your time, but once you do it once, you'll find that it's very simple. So I'm going to now change this around. I'm going to go a bit small because I want it on one line. you got to remember, these are big wallets, so that's still going to look big. And I definitely want an italics on this. So I'm going to go down to italic, you know, and I'm going to center it a bit because I don't think it's centered very well. There. So now when they take off my business card, they're going to see that. Thank you for your booking, and they're going to see me. So what else do we got to do? Well, we obviously have to add our logo to the front. So let's add our logo. And we're going to find our logo. Now, I don't have a travel logo. I'm just going to use my logo. I know it's not going to look as good. Now, you'll notice when you see a yellow hazard sign that the logo's too big. So I wouldn't want it that big anyway. So I'm going to reduce it to the size I think would look nice on my wallet. Now, there is no lineup bar, so you have to go by eye. So I like trying to use something in the picture so I know when I do it on the other side, it looks the same. So I'm just going to line it up there, and then I'm going to add another logo, and click it again, and get another logo, and I'm going to put it on the front, tools, resize it. Again, what you might want to do is bring it over to this one, so you know you have the size approximately the same, and then just drag it over and put it where you want it, and try to line it up in the same position. It is a little hard. You can also put your name in here. If you had a group, you can put your group name in here. So what else can we do? Well, people have been doing many things. They've been putting itineraries on here, English and Spanish language. So you can put you know, a message from you. Um, you can create a QR code. So you click on the QR code. I'm just going to hook it to my website. So you simply, the page you want it to go to, it's going to create one for you for free. You're going to upload it, and it's going to upload to your images. And that's how simple that is. It's now telling you that it's in your images. And it should be right there at the bottom. You click on it once, and now I can put it in position. So I put it in position. I'm just going to resize it. So I just reduce it, because we don't need it that big, that's for sure. I'm just going to put it over here, and you can put some title on, under it if you wish. And so now you can put any other information you want there. You can put um, your services, what else you specialize in, maybe some rules and regulations about cruises, maybe about the safety. You can put anything you want on this jacket. This is your jacket. And once you're happy with the jacket and you have your logo and your, all your information, I'm not going to add any more, but you can add anything you want. You see how easy that is. And I'm just going to save it. So you just hit Save Template As. So once I design it, once it's there, and if I ever want to make changes, it's so simple to come back. So I'm just going to call this my Cruise Jacket. You might have a name for it. If it's for a specific group, put the group name in there. Put the date and the year if you want. And you'll notice up here, it's saved. So now, anytime I want, I can come back, just click on that, click Load, and my ticket jacket will load up for me. And that's how simple it is to do a beautiful cruise jacket. And these jackets are exclusively from Big Bark. They hold an 8.5 by 11 sheet folded in half. And this holds 30 sheets, 15 in each pocket. Holds bag tags, U.S. Customs, passports. And because they're Velcroed shut, they don't fall out. And what's even better is once you add to your cart to go buy it, you'll see that we have quantities of 25 and up, so you do not have to buy a large quantity. You can buy as small as you want. So for $96, you can get 25 beautiful wallets for your next 25 cruise passengers. You will get a PDF up here. And this is very important that you look at this PDF. Make sure you're happy with everything. We are not going to spell check for you. We are going to take this and print it and die cut it and glue it and send it to you in five to eight days. 
but please double check everything. You put your cursor, you can print it. If you have Adobe, you can click on Adobe and use tools. And you can email it to, if you're doing it for your boss, you can email it to them. If you're doing it for a group and you want to show the group leader, just hit attach. This will pop up. You just hit send copy. An email will pop up with your PDF proof right there. And now you can send it to yourself, you can send it to the group leader to approve, you can send it to your boss, or you just send it to yourself so you can keep it on file. And that's how easy that is. And now you just have to place your order and follow the normal procedures to order a ticket jacket. And that's how easy it is to do a beautiful cruise two-pocket ticket jacket. Thank you very much for watching. Please look for us on YouTube on Big Bark Marketing. Call us for any help you need. Email us at customer service at bigbarkgraphics.com and we are here to help you. Thank you.